Today, we're looking at Plesk and CyberPanel. So both of these offer a free solution in terms of self-hosting your own WordPress websites on your own VPS. So a few of you have asked about a comparison between these two. So let's look at the pros and cons in more detail. I'm Alex from Ideaspot. Let's get started. Okay, let's look at the ease of setup between Plesk and Subapanel. So I've done complete setup tutorials for Plesk and Subapanel. I'm not going to do that in this video. So you can check out Plesk. I've set that up on Vulture and I've set that up on DigitalOcean. I'll link those in the description. Same with Subapanel. I've set that up on Vulture. Both of these, I can do these pretty quick these days, maybe 15, 20 minutes. You can get WordPress running on either of these really quite easily. Now, it's worth noting that for this comparison, I'm going to focus on the free versions here. So Plesk Web Admin SE, that is the free version, and it's not available everywhere. It's available on Vulture, DigitalOcean, AWS, and Alibaba. And uh, if you want to use the free version, you're limited to those places. You can't just install it wherever you like. And with Cyberpanel, you can do the one-click install it on a lot of places. So all my favorites are here, Vulture, DigitalOcean, Linode, AWS. And you can actually use the install script on any server you want. So from the command line, you can install Subapanel anywhere. You can't do that with the free version of Plesk. You are limited to a few places, but uh, the good thing is Vulture and DigitalOcean are probably my favorites anyway. So it doesn't really matter that much, but it is important to realize that the free version of Plesk is limited to a few places and Subapanel, it's not limited. If you want to use that command line installer, you can install that on basically any server you want. Now, in terms of the ease of setup, I noticed that Plesk is slightly easier because it's all web-based. So everything's done through the browser. It's all graphic-based. So uh, for beginners who have never used a Linux command prompt, you do need to go into the command line when you install Cyberpanel. Even using the one-click installer, you need to go in just to get the password, get the admin password from the command line. It's not very hard, but if you've never used the command line at all, it is a little bit of a jump in terms of uh, technicality. So uh, if you want the easiest possible experience, I think Plesk gives you a little bit of an easier setup experience. In terms of updates, I think Plesk again is a little bit easier. You've got automated updates by default. With Cyberpanel, you need to link to the Cyberpanel cloud and there you can perform your updates. So I've shown you how to do that in the Cyberpanel tutorial I posted earlier, but it doesn't seem too hard. I haven't tried it myself to be honest, but it does seem fairly straightforward, but it's not as seamless as what you get with Plesk's automatic updates. Also, Plesk has the web application firewall already set up by default. Now, on Cyberpanel, there was mod security web application firewall. It was very easy to set that up, but just be aware that you do need to click a few things to get that running. Um, so again, Plesk, a little bit easier for beginners. And for your SSL setup, both of these were super easy. They were one click, let's encrypt free SSL setups. So neither one of these has an advantage. They're both very easy to set up uh, SSL for free. If we look at the free version features, they're both pretty good. Cyberpanel is a little bit better in terms of its free version. You have the main features that I use, backups, file manager, database administration, that's available on both of them. Both of them have virus and malware scanning included. There is a three domain limit on the free version of Plus. That's probably the main restriction on the free version. There's no such restriction on Cyberpanel. There's an unlimited number of domains you can host on your Cyberpanel. So uh, Cyberpanel, big advantage there on having no restriction there. And you also have staging and cloning. The WordPress staging and cloning is a paid add-on for Plesk. So probably those two things are, are limited by Plesk's free version, whereas Subpanel, you get some more value in that free version, I think. Now, having said that, uh, staging and cloning to me, that's not that big of a deal. I can do a manual staging site using a subdomain on Plesk. It's not that hard, but uh, for those of you who really like using staging and cloning very often, I think Subpanel, that is a bit of an advantage. In terms of performance using Vulture High Frequency, I've got Cyberpanel running here on Cadence theme and I've got the same thing running on Plesk as well um, over here. So exactly the same website, one on Plesk, one on Cyberpanel, same server setup exactly. So I'm going to just run it through Google PageSpeed, GT Metrics, and some load testing and I'll show you they're very, very similar. Basically, you get very, very good performance from Plesk and Cyberpanel. In this case, we've got nearly perfect scores on Google PageSpeed Insights mobile tests. So um, the numbers are almost identical as well. Within uh, a tenth of a second, they're basically the same numbers. So uh, excellent performance from both of these. You can't really make a big uh, difference either way. So I, I really like both of these in terms of their actual speed and performance. 
Now, using Loader.io, you can put these websites under some load so we can stress test the caching. So, a thousand clients per second using Loader.io. Now, we see that the result is basically identical. We're getting a um, average response time of nine or ten milliseconds. So, you can see here, Plesk is is hovering around uh, nine or ten milliseconds. Same with Supper Panel is hovering around nine or ten milliseconds. So, practically the same performance under load. Now, a thousand clients per second. And most of us are never going to get that many clients per second. So you really don't have to worry about the, the caching performance here. They're going to perform very, very, very similarly. And if you do start hitting this sort of load, uh, you're probably going to have the sort of budget that is much more than the 5 or $6 plans that we're reviewing on a lot of our videos on this channel anyway. So I wouldn't really worry about performance either way. They both perform very, very well. While we're talking about caching, this is probably a significant point of difference between Plesk and CyberPanel because Plesk uses Nginx caching, CyberPanel uses Lightspeed caching. Now, Nginx is probably the industry standard for caching. Most top websites on the web are using Nginx caching. 58% of the top 10,000 websites use Nginx. Only 2% of the top 10K sites are using Lightspeed caching. Now, Lightspeed is a bit newer, so it hasn't established it itself as much as Nginx, uh, about 10 times more websites are using Nginx at the moment. So definitely there'll be more developer, more industry support behind Nginx, but Lightspeed caching, as we saw, the performance is there. So it's very good as well. It's just that this is much more commonly used. You'll also notice that when we set these up that Plesk doesn't need any additional plugins. The Nginx caching is enabled through the panel itself, but CyberPanel uses that Lightspeed caching WordPress plugin to get the uh, caching effect. So uh, if you're one of those people who likes to minimize the number of plugins, I think Plesk is nice because it doesn't involve a plugin at that point. You can add uh, optimization plugins like Auto Optimize or um, WP Fastest Cache or Rocket, all those kind of things you can add for extra optimizations, but it doesn't actually need one out of the box if you've got a well-optimized WordPress site like we saw with that Cadence example where it runs very well without any additional plugin. And as we saw, we got excellent WordPress performance on both of these. So outstanding. We saw like nearly perfect mobile web scores with either of them on Google PageSpeed Insights. So I'm happy with the performance either way. Um, one thing to note is Plesk is backed by a huge corporation. So it really has a lot of industry backing behind it. The same corporation, Oakley Capital, also owns cPanel, which was the, the basically the industry standard in panels for a long time in terms of web hosting. Now, I think it looks like they're positioning Plesk to take over that sort of market share from cPanel. CyberPanel is much more of a smaller tech startup type company. So um, it's not gonna have the same sort of developer support as it, that you'll see with Plesk. So there are some question marks around the stability and security in comparison with Plesk. So we'll look at that in a second as well. Because it's a newer panel, cyber panel, uh, someone asked in our WordPress hosting forum on Facebook, do you think cyber panel is production ready? So there were a few people who don't really think it's production ready. So 11 people on this forum uh, don't really trust cyber panel yet. And that's because of those stability concerns. It doesn't have that same level of developer support that you'd get from a major uh, control panel like Plesk. So I'll link to this uh, chat on webhostingtalk.com. They've got a thread where they discuss some of the technical issues with Slabber Panel. So a lot of people like it. A lot of people have had um, some uh, difficult experiences with Slabber Panel. So just be aware of that before you go ahead and move everything to Slabber Panel. So I don't really have a strong opinion here because I haven't used Slabber Panel myself for that long, but just, just read through that if you have any concerns. Maybe test CyberPanel for a while for yourself and see if it stacks up to what you need. But I will say that if you do have business critical needs for your web server, then Plesk is definitely a safer option from what I can see. So to wrap things up, I would say Plesk is the recommended safe choice. It has excellent performance and a very easy setup. And the free version is somewhat limited though. So the three domain limit, and it is limited to certain providers as we talked about before. Um, but I mean, if you're happy to use Vulture or DigitalOcean and you don't need more than three domains on the server, then there's really no disadvantage for using Plesk. Now, I know some of you are in developing countries and you really need to stretch your budget as far as possible. So that's probably why you're looking at CyberPanel with its very generous free tier. So uh, excellent free performance that you get from CyberPanel with lots of great free features. It is a smaller share of the industry market and I did flag a few of those stability concerns. So definitely check that out. But um, Plesk is probably the safer choice between the two. 
Now, I should also highlight while we're here, there's, there's not just Plesk and CyberPanel. You can look at other choices as well. So Gladways is a little bit more expensive, but it covers off all the limitations of Plesk because you get unlimited um, domains and you also get that free uh, staging and cloning included in Cloudways. And basically the whole back end is managed by Cloudways as well. So that is, um, it can be worth it if you don't really want to have to manage the server. So Cloudways is a good choice. I'll link that in the description as well. WordOps, again, if you're really on a tight budget and you want that free solution, this doesn't involve a graphical control panel. It's all done from a command line, but it covers all the limitations that Plesk has. So it doesn't have that domain limit. And uh, it is still reasonably easy, but you do have to do everything from a command line. But if you're on a super tight budget, uh, this can be a good choice as well. So don't just limit yourself to these two. Have a look at other options as well. But that pretty much wraps it up. So I will put the detailed setup videos for Plesk and CyberPanel. I'll put those right there so you can check those out in detail. But hopefully this has been useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.